Hey guys, welcome to Tech Talks by Gaurav Sharma. Today, we're going to be talking about Nest compliance. Today's video is not about any pro specific product, but the driving forces behind uh, why we put these products in place. Um, realizing that the national and economic security is pretty much dependent on the rel reliable and efficient function of its critical mass infrastructure, President Barack Obama signed an executive order 13636 in February 2013 that basically directed National Institute of Standards and Technology to work with the stakeholders and come up with a framework that that, that basically helped the organization uh, reduce their risk factor. This framework consisted of three major components, core, profile, and tier. Core is basically the outcomes that we're trying to achieve as part of our security uh, or risk containment. Uh, profile is very specific to your organization. Say, for example, a healthcare um, organization, a healthcare would have different priorities than a financial one. So that, that basically sets your profile. And then, so that, so when, when you have a profile set, uh, it helps you prioritize things and so that you're, the, every dollar that you spend on cybersecurity makes the most impact. And then tier, tier is qualitative measurement of your adoption of this framework, right? And furthermore, in NIST compliance, there are five major principles. I play daily rock and roll. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's just how I remember things, right? So all the words that I said, we were going to take the initials of those and we're going to convert them into uh, the principles that we were talking about from NIST compliance. So I is to identify. P play is to protect, D is to detect, R, R to respond and recover. I play daily rock and roll. It works for me. Uh, you can use whatever technique you that works for you to remember stuff. But yeah, so these are the five principles that can help you reduce the risk factor in your organization. And when we talk about anything in technology, it, it it is uh, it should be you should be able to translate that into a common life example right so uh, these principles pretty much apply to any risk or anywhere that that is risk involved say for example your home right so if let's apply these principles in your home environment where um, you have those video camera uh, bells uh, on your door to make sure that you're able to identify who's coming in uh, and you're only allowing the trust people come into your home. Protect, to protect yourself from people who you don't want to come into your house, uh, you have the doors in place, right? And the doors will keep the unknown people or people who you don't allow outside your house. And in case something goes wrong and someone uh, you don't want to come in, uh, tries to get into your home, you have those sensors in this place in place that's going to detect the moment uh, that, hey, someone entered the house on some, at like at midnight or whenever, uh, it's going to set off an alarm, right? So the, then it would kind of get into the respond piece of it, right? So once these sensors detect the unusual activity in your home that someone came in, um, these alarms would go off as part of the response piece, right? And uh, it could be um, these alarms, when they go off, uh, they could direct a call to 911 or you you manually do that. Well, however, that's how your response comes into play. And then in the whole process of detecting and responding if the intruder managed to steal something from you. Um, then you have those um, insurances in place that's going to help you recover from the losses that you uh, incurred because of this whole incident that happened. So 
taking the same example, and we're going to this is applicable to your infrastructure or your organization as well. You you want to make sure that you're able to identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover to the incidents or any malicious users that come into your network, right? As, to, as today we said, we're not going to talk about any specific products. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. But there are only few vendors in the market that can help you achieve the whole cycle, of including all these five principles uh, to ensure that the, your network remains same. Cisco being one of those, right? Cisco is one of the only or one of the only few vendors that provide the whole solution. We've got all the solutions in place uh, and we can help you with this journey. To learn more about that, uh, reach out to your accounts team and they're gonna help you um, with the adoption of this list. Thank you, bye-bye.